Okay, so, <laughs> I mean, you haven't told me how you knew the right size to buy. I mean, this dress is exactly my size. How did you do it? Well, let's say there is no limit Don Romeo can't go when it comes to a woman I genuinely love. <laughs> but I'm glad you look so beautiful and neat. Yes. It's a beautiful dress and I'm sure it must have cost you a fortune. Of course, Don Romeo standard, no cap. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. I listened to your program last night and I really enjoyed it. Oh, really? Oh, yes. You know, you were talking about, you know, someone manning up to, you know, go for what they desire. Absolutely. <laughs> um, Alicia, uh, you see, um, what is it? Go ahead, I'm listening. Um, Your hair is beautiful. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> oh yes. Um, honestly, uh, what is it? I'm listening. Okay, um, Alicia. Mm -hmm. You see. I have desired so many things in life. Some I achieved, some I let go. But you see, I have never felt this burning desire in me, you know, to, to have a woman so close to me, to have a woman in my life, like I feel for you. Um, I'm flattered. Please don't be, right? I am just speaking my mind. You're a beautiful damsel. I have never in my whole life seen a wonderful being like you. Please, Alicia, be my girl. Be my woman. I want you to be that woman I can give my whole world to. Uh. <clears throat> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Don Romeo, but I cannot say yes. <sighs> Listen, I'm not sure that I'm ready for this right now. And, and no, you are not a bad person. But I'm not ready for this. Um, I need to, you know, get going. I don't want to be late. I'll see you again.
Mm. That reminds me, Greg. What? That lady with voice like Nightingale, that anchors love boats. What is her name? You. Uh, her name is uh, Adisha Kennedy. Wow. Hmm. But um, is she as beautiful as her voice sounds, or her just voice was just sweet? You know, see the be now. <laughs> you, I know what you're thinking. She's 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 stunning. She's wow. She's beautiful. She's just like her voice. I must confess. Wow. Good to hear. You, 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 this dirty son of a saint. I know what you're thinking. You, <laughs> you can say that again if you want. Oh my God. You, you. Um, don't you think you're running late? Uh, see the time. It's true, you're correct. So let me just take my leave. Mm. See, why don't you uh, stop by the office today so that I can just show you around the office. And perhaps introduce me to the painted lady. You. Okay. Maybe. Hmm? So let me no. take my leave, okay? It's okay. So, I'll see you. I'll, I'll see you later in the day. You take care. All right. All right. See you soon. Good morning, guys. Amaka? Yes, sir. What about Chief Omega's outfit? I've set it with the new guy. Good. Tracy. Thank you. Jennifer. Yes, sir. What about you? Are you true with Madame Cashwears? Not yet, sir. Shut that your stinking mouth up. Sorry, sir. You want me to lose my client? You've been on this job for seven days. Cosmos, we have not been supervising these guys very well. What is wrong with you? Good morning, boss. Sparrow. My house, 30 minutes. All right, boss. Okay. Here you are, girlfriend. If I were the one putting on this beautiful dress, I will be cavorting the main hall right now so that everyone can see me. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Let the cat out of the bag. Who was that? Well, it was good. Very good. 
and considering the fact that it's been long i traveled that road plus the environment made it worthwhile girl that man's house is beautiful and i mean every word but i sort of bruised his ego when he made me an offer and um i um you know, I rejected it. You mean to tell me that Don Romy, of all people, asked you to be his woman and you said no? Yes, I said no. Yes. I mean, <laughs> my last escapade with Pastor Richard has taught me a whole lot of lessons. A whole lot, Amanda. A wealthy man will always, always have loads and loads of women locking around him. Or he might have a woman, a wife in Europe or America. Who cares? Girl, after what happened to you, you shouldn't be thinking of affections right now. It's all about the money. Sparrow, did you remember that beautiful girl Alicia that I took to Brandon Club? Yes, I remember. The lady that witnessed last week, she let that program, Love Boat. Is there any problem? I made her an ultimate offer. She refused. I want to know why. You see, I can't believe that after all I spent for her, taking her around the city with the most expensive car, introducing her to my connects, to men of affluence and influence, and finally bringing her into my mansion, she spent the night and I asked her to be my girl. She refused. I mean, something no woman, no woman on earth who has seen my pedigree will do. And I want to know why. Yes, boss. Remember our consignment is coming in Friday night. Which product, boss? Angel's dust. Very good part. Shall to be taken care of. I'll stay in touch. It's alright. So, how are things going on at the hotel? Smooth, smooth, boss. Right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, sir. Good day. It's alright. Man, bro, I am really impressed you are into this whole studio okay. thing. I want you to give me a beat mm -hmm. and let me remind you of how we used to do it wow. back in the days. Mm -hmm. Hit it, bro. Okay, let me feel you, man. Let me feel you. Let me feel you. Mm. Oh! Yeah, we got Prince Josh in the building. We got Greg E, aka this, aka that. Whoa, I'm a G double O D, S O N of G O D, J S U S O. I'm a big bro. How me of God, I'm a soldier, brother. I'm a soldier, indefatigable, one able, capable, but so rich, physical, mentally stable. Got his dimples, table before me in the prayers of the bad belly peoples like pimples. Woo! <laughs> he joke, he joke, he joke. He joke. He joke. <laughs> 
you know, once a soldier, always a soldier. Bro, <laughs> you know what? Mm -hmm. We got 15 minutes to lunch time, so oh. let me put the call through. Wow. If I can grant you your. your it's okay. Wish. It's okay, of course. All right. I didn't come here to freestyle. I came here for. Oh my God, man. Nice one, bro. Nice one. Chop it. Nice one. Nice one. You got it. Thank you. Oh. One minute. Oh. Hello. Hello. The one and only executive sound engineer, Greg E. Yeah, that's my baby. How are you doing? I'm fine, and you? I'm good. I'm fine. Yeah, I saw you earlier on my way to the MD's office. I wanted to check you afterward. But uh, I said I should call you. Are you with Alicia? Yes, she is. Oh, can you please put her on the phone? I want to speak with her. Okay, she can hear you now. Yes, I can hear you, Mr. Greg. E, what is the breaking news? Mm, nothing heavy. I called uh, Amanda to have lunch with me. And I want you to please convince her to have lunch with me. Okay, 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 Mr. Greg. Um, we'll be with you for lunch. All right, thank you. See you soon. See you at the restaurant, Greg. Yeah, see you later, dear. All yeah, right. Bye. 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 Man, bro. So, is Alicia coming? Yeah, yeah, both of them. Hello, man. You need to see this Amanda girl. Ah! Tell Shit. me, what's up? That girl is too hot for liberation radio. I must confess. Ah, oh, man. So you see that girl, that girl is driving me crazy. Man, I can't wait to have that girl. Why? Mm. Demon like you. Oh, bro, you know, what's up? What was, that's it now? Let's roll, man. man. I can't wait to man, set my eyes on that Alicia man, you Kennedy. See, you, you see her today, okay? All right. So, yeah, it's time to... Okay, let's check out. So, I'm going to see you guys <laughs> very soon, okay? Yeah, we're coming back for you. Love you, love you, love you. No, <laughs> seriously, I'm just talking to myself. I don't know why you just not even want this guy, Greg. Babe, Greg is a nice and good guy. Plus, he has a good sense of humor. I know all about that, Alicia. But Greg is a short guy. How do you expect me to go out with a guy like as short as I am? <laughs> ah, please, I want a man as tall, handsome, and wealthy like Don Romeo. Girl, look on the brighter side. Not all that glitters is gold. Come on. You never know what can happen tomorrow. Mm. For now, let's go for a restaurant date. <laughs> I've said my own. I've given him my word. Girl. We are just friends, nothing more. You never know when love can take you. Uh -uh. You, uh, you see my hair finished, we'll make I go follow. <laughs> they will make me a bomb brief, brief. <laughs> Greg, what is the keeping, Greg? <sighs> oh. Sorry, man. Sorry, man. I have to answer duty calls first before duty calls. Did you see the girls? How would I know them? I haven't seen them before. Maybe you use your instincts to visualize. Come on, man. The way I describe that Amanda girl. A loser skin and a cold. You know? That cold, like a huge butterflower. No, be you again. You too like better too. You don't like better too. More than in like better Bad guys. Yeah. Wow. Yes, she comes. Hello. Hi. Can I have a seat? Thank you. I'm sorry. It's okay. Hello? Oh, sorry, excuse me. How are you doing this afternoon? I'm fine, thank you. I'm sorry about what happened at my house this morning. I guess I was born into the first floor. It's okay, Don Romeo. I mean, that's not the reason I left in the first place. No, trust me, it's not the reason. I'm really sorry. You took me by surprise. Yes, I, you took me by storm. I'm not sure I'm ready for any daredevil cruise with you right now. I'm not. 
Besides, I'm just recuperating from a ghastly motor accident, if you know what I mean. I understand. Alicia. I'm glad you understand. Sorry. I have a call. I won't take much of your time. I will send you one of my drivers to pick you up after work. So we have a heart to heart conversation. Please don't object to my offer, okay? Okay then. Okay, bye. Thank you. It was paradise on that. Where you took me. All right then. Bye. Um, I'm sorry. I I had to take that urgent call. Yeah. yeah sorry, guys. Oh. Uh, I don't mind. It's my friend. It's Josh. Hi. Hi. Oh. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah. Hi, Mr. Josh. Hello, painted lady. Do you know, two know each other before? Briefly. Mm. Very briefly. Mm. Okay. Oh, Amanda, I'm at your service. What do you mean, like? Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> What the hell are you doing here? I asked you to go. And why did you return the money to me? Because I love you. Because I want to love you forever. Romeo. Oh. Promise not to poke nose into your other affairs. See, you can go ahead and bring in women in this house. Do anything you want to do with them, I will, not do, I will not bother you. I promise you. You better reason well and take yourself out from this house. All right? I'm going to send that 200,000 Naira back to you. Then later we can talk about how to help your life. All right? Help my life? Romeo. I'm talking about my feelings, my love for you. And you're here talking about how to send me money. Did I tell that my life needs help? I may love you for crying out loud. See, I cannot leave you. I will not leave you. If you want to kill me, go ahead and kill me. But for me, I will never leave you. Romeo, can't you see that? No, 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 my friend, don't come any closer, all right? Look at you, you're drunk. What's all this? Don't mention anything like love again in your life, not to do Romeo, all right? Uh, 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 Kante, don't, 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 I love you, baby. Why are you doing this to me? Please. Take this bitch out from this house. Fast. Oh, no. You want to dump me? Girl. You want to dump me because you've got another stress toy, right? You're not leaving me. No, leave me. Nonsense. I'm counting. That girl is drunk. Make sure you take her home safely. Good. The drink. Get it the drink, the drink. Take it away. Take it away.
Man. I really enjoyed the meal. See, just trying to have friends from the universities. We serve together in Christy before you decided to leave for Lagos and I remain here. Oh, really? What brought you here? Well, well, I, like he said, I served here years ago, so I really missed the city, so I decided to take um, a four weeks leave at the office to come spend it in this beautiful city with my bosom. That's so much. Right. Yeah, that's all for <laughs> So, tell us, Mr. Josh, what exactly do you do for a living? Um, I work with FMCJ in Lagos. So, okay. Which, which one? Golden Penny. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. It's cool. Me, Greg, he, Omo. You see, this life, you know, not go to give up. Oh. Ah, it's all now. You know, to give up at all. You see that babe, I've been on that babe for some time now. And finally, she's mine now. So, tell me, did she say yes to you? Yes, of course. She said yes now. She's mine. You sure? Sure. Okay, well. Oh, see, she's the one calling me. See, watch. See. This is the proof. Hello? Hello, honey. Hello, darling. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And how are you? I'm fine, you can tell from my voice. Indeed. I suppose you're home now. I'm at home and I've had dinner. That's cool. Okay. Are you home? Yes, of course. I'm home. In my room. On my bed. Putting on a black bomb shirt and a yellow top. Mm. Are you alone? Of course, I'm all alone. Do you want to come? Do you want me to come over? Yes, honey. Well, it's late. Huh? What's the color of your pants? What? Like, are you wearing pants? Wait, wait, wait. Don't be faster than your shadow. Oh. I can see you're a chronic masturbator. Oh, you want to use me to calm your nerves, right? It won't work. Call a walk. Besides, is your friend there with you? Yeah, he's here with me. Can I talk to him? Okay. Hold on. Hello, I'm here. I'm just say hi to you. Hello. Hello, Joshua. How are you and how are you enjoying the second night here in Inigo? It's cool. You guys spent a lot of I had wanted to say it's nice meeting you, but I didn't get a chance earlier. Oh, same here, dear. Same here. And um, how is Alicia? Is she there with you? No, no, no. She's not. She went on a date. Oh, okay. Hello, boss. Sparrow, where are you? Hello, boss. My friend, I said, where are you? Come to my house now. I'll be there in a jiffy. Let me freshen up. Fire. What do you think like you deserves a man that would treat her like a queen? I'm not a man that would 
treat you like trash. See the way Don treats you. Yeah, you're right. You know, I know that man. I've worked with him for like three years. That man is evil. He's an occultic man, a blood sucker, and a drug dealer. Do you know that the last two girls that he needed to teach that refused? They all ended up dead. Are you serious? I'm telling you. We didn't buy one drug dealer in the whole town. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with the help of some of his friends from the government, the guy runs drop all around the town, even overseas. He uses his cargo express services to carry his drugs. Most of those trucks you see on the highway, they're all carrying drugs for him. That means my life is in danger. Yes. See, I guess he told you that he was going to call you. Maybe to see how you can help your life. Yes. Hmm. Maybe. If you value your life. What do I do now? Babe, elope with me. Let's run away. Let's go and have a better life. Don't you want a better life? Do you like the way you're living? Every day is beating you and it's hurting you. See, I mean it. So it's like I've been trying to tell you all this why I come to pick you. But I couldn't. And it hurts me. I couldn't because I was under at all. You know what it means? But right now, I would do anything for you. I'm ready for anything. Because my heart means for you. I want to love you. I want to be there for you. Sparrow, I want to ditch Kamiti. You put the code up again. Number three. Thou shalt now convert the Don's wife. Or concubines. Good. I see that you don't boss. But pardon me, boss. How did you get to know? A reliable source had that girl blabbing at the club. Saying things no one knows except. Our inner cacos. Except the gang. And I suspect Kante. That motherfucker came back a few hours later. He told me he didn't see her. But I know he did. Why not? <laughs> I have to return home. You know I'm the one who's going to anchor the 7 a.m. news. Then again, you know I don't play with my job. I know you don't joke with your job. Likewise myself. <laughs> so tell me, how was the dinner date? It was cool. Just cool? Come on, give me details. What do you mean, give you details? Well, I don't have any details to give you. What do you mean you don't have any details to give me? Wait, Alicia. I hope you didn't mess up the dinner date because I did suspect you. Amanda, I did not. Okay? It's just that the moon has too much pressure. Too pressure on you? How? Please, can you explain? He asked me 
to be his girl? I said no. And now he is trying to buy me over with gifts. Alicia? Yes. I thought you guys are already dating. No. I am not dating on board. He is not my man. What do you mean he's not your man? Then if he's not your man, who is he? What is he? A rebound. What? Yes. You mean to tell me all this while you guys have been going out? It's just for a pastime. Alicia, Don Rome is a man that one million and one women out there will kill to have. Wake up, girl. Stop living in fantasy. Hold on to this man, Don Romeo. Amanda, I'm not this. No, or not. You see, whatever thing Don Romeo will give me, I can afford it myself if I work hard. Is it a car? Is it a house? See, all those things are material things. Yes, I can afford these things myself if I wanted them. Now, I don't even know what the man does for a living. I don't know the source of his wealth. I don't know what he's into. I don't know anything about him. Have you seen the kind of men he deals with? Have you? Alicia, Don Romeo is a genuine businessman. He is into transportation and logistics, maritime, air and land transport. He always comes here to renew his advert on our radio station. Keeping that back. Even at that, Amanda. Listen, I need to know this man well. Yes? I need to know the man before I can even start accepting gifts from him. Okay. He gave me the key to a car yesterday, but I rejected the gift. What? Yes. Listen, Amanda. Marriage is not the end of a woman's voyage here and there. I mean, I still have my career in front of me. I love to think. And I think we need to stop thinking of marriage as the ultimate for every woman. I mean, we should concentrate on bettering ourselves. When you better yourself. I'm sure you need to have any man you want coming your way. He doesn't have to be rich. As long as he's responsible, you're good to go. Who cares? Money makes the world go round in this present time. I mean, I can't believe that you bought me a car and you rejected it. Who does that? I... I do that. Girl, how many times do you want me to say this to you? I am not desperate. I am not desperate. And don't forget, I am not a poor So if I wanted a car, I can afford to buy myself one. And if I do not want to spend my money buying one, I can ask my brothers to buy me a car and they will buy me any choice car. Yes. Girl, cars and whatever are just material things. Things like that do not, do not break me. But if you so want a car for yourself, I'm sure you can go to Don Romeo. He can give you the car. Oh. I get it now. So I'm now the desperate one from the poor home. Alicia, are you trying to insult me? If I want a car, I should go and get it from the room. Are you trying to remind me that from a poor home? Oh. I wonder, you, you're getting me all wrong. I never say anything like that to you. You're my best friend. There is no way I would deliberately want to remind you that you're from me. Listen, I'm sorry. You misunderstood me. I did not mean it that way. I'm sorry. Alicia, please, I want to be left alone. Yes. Amanda, I'm really sorry. Alicia? I want to be left alone, please. Okay. 
like him, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Amanda, I'm sorry. Okay, I, I never meant to hurt you in any way. Listen, you are my best friend. You're my best friend and I would never intentionally want to hurt you. I'm sorry. Again. But you of all people should know how I suffered after I realized that, that, that Pastor Richard was cheating on me and he was married already. You know how much I loved that man and I just felt that you should be able to feel my pain. I know all that, Alicia. And remember I stood by you during your dark moment. Yes, and I asked you to move on. I was only encouraging you to move on with your life. A and you think I, I am desperate. It's okay. You're my best friend. That's all that matters, okay? I would never ever mock your background or anything like that, okay? So please, could you do me the honor and forgive me. I'm sorry. It's okay. You know you're my friend. And I can't say no. Apologies accepted. Good. So truth. Truth, girl. Truth. And next time, don't you ever walk me out of your office again. Because I'm not taking it lightly. Okay. Okay, then. I'll be in my office. I'll take it out to later. Yeah, later then. Alicia opened a stinking mouth and insulted me. Amanda. Oh, because I was trying to advise her as a friend. Oh, I have been humiliated. Alicia doesn't know she snatched that man from me. Hello, pretty. See, listen to me real quick, okay? I'm coming to pick you, okay? As soon as I sign up for work, I'll come pick you, okay? Yeah, trust me, I'll pick you, okay? I love you, alright? Bye. Rante! Yes, boss! have to pull a fast one on me. You think I don't know you stole my money, right? Shut up! Now if you know what is good for you, Lucas, tell me where you hid my money, else I will take your life this minute. I'm sorry, Lucas. 
Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I didn't tell you! At the count of five! At the count of five! If you don't tell me where my money is, I will order the boys to take your life. One. Two. Three. Stupid boy! Kante! Take him and waste him. Have mercy on me. Shut your mouth up. Dish this motherfucker fast. Hello, my favorite listeners. Yes, I am back again, and I know all of you are waiting patiently to hear my voice. Now, as I sit in this studio with my eyes closed, all I can see are flashing images of thousands and thousands of individuals across the nation who were bound by the spell of my voice. Pardon me to say bound by the spell, but trust me, it is what it is. Now, um, as my voice travels through sound waves across the nation, caressing your eardrums with what Ever medium you're listening to me from could it be your car stereo could it be your radio your internet radio your analogs your smartphones from from whatever medium you're listening to me from i would love to say you guys are my triple f's now what is triple f's triple f means you're my family you're my friends and you are my fans now this is still your favorite radio station liberation radio 94.8 and this is still your favorite late night romance show love boats and i am still your nightingale alicia kennedy now today on today's program we will be discussing and the topic for today's discussion would be she cannot be bought she's priceless yes She's priceless. Today, I'm just going to be me, me, myself, and I. And yes, I will be Alicia Kennedy, the feminist that you know. Apologies to the male listeners out there. Sorry. It's not like we do not care about you, but I'm sorry because I would say a lot of things tonight that may bruise your ego or hurt your feelings. But trust me, this show is nothing without you guys. It's incomplete without you guys. You're still a great part of my show. Now, let's go for a commercial break and we'll be right down for the headline of the day. Oh my god, I'm innocent. I'm innocent. Oh my god. Oh my god. back back and what are we talking about like i said we're trying to talk about all of the challenges that the girl child faces out there trust me living in a country where the girl child or the female folk is subvent under a man a girl child has to feel like she needs to be put on the price tag and be appreciated in a society dominated by a man what do I mean by that? Do not forget that our culture and our traditions puts the female folk to a corner where it feels like they have to be bought and they have no importance unless they're appreciated by a man. Hence the bride price tag on every male child during marriage. Now, what do I have to say about this? I would like to say that it is not easy because I've heard a whole lot of people say that women 
shouldn't even in, back in the olden days women shouldn't um, have to go to school because they feel like training a woman in school is just a waste of time because a man will come one day and snatch her away marry her away and that's the end of all the expenses but trust me thank god that today a lot of things have changed how have things changed things have changed in a way that today the girl child is more exposed she has her value up and up and up and up and up in the stock market. Is it a good thing for the female child? Yes, it is. Let me tell you a story about a girl that I know. Now, growing up, this girl has always been told by her parents to be wary of men. This is her trying to live her life being wary of men. Now, as she grows, she carries at the back of her mind that men are to be wary of grows older and older into the society she struggles to find the real man for her now when the right man comes along she believes yes this is the one he comes with all of the charms with all of the gifts and with all of the affection and she believes this is the one for me single never married at least that's what he told her but two years fast forward she finds herself dwindling in the hands of this man on the long run, she's heartbroken after she found out that this man is married. I forgot to mention, he is a supposed man of God, a pastor. Now she tries to give love another chance and she meets this man. This man is stupendously generous. He gives her cars, he gives her everything, buys her expensive gifts, takes her to expensive shows. But what is she weary of this time? She's weary of her heart being broken and being toyed with over and over again. So guess what she does? She doesn't give her heart back because she knows that this time around, she needs to be weary of a man. She needs to be weary of the male folk. She's scared. But you're going to blame her because she has been through a lot in the past. But this guy makes her a proposition. Which she declines. And now she is more confused than ever. She decides to run to her bosom friend for advice. Then she decides to give it a try. Because sometimes the road that looks like it's the end may be the pathway to paradise. And so she proceeds and they both decide to start on a fresh note but deep down in her heart she's still scared there's a tiny voice that keeps telling her that she would be dumped because she does not know anything about this man that she has let into her life but hopefully she's hoping that this would be her dream come true and that tiny voice still keeps telling her that she would be dumped, scarred, bruised, and in danger for the rest of her life. And then the beast who has left her battered, scarred, and in danger would go out looking for another prey to devour. In this world where men are the predators and women the prey. Um, hi. Uh, hi, 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 Dom Romeo. Hello, Angel. You sound lost. Oh, no, 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 I'm fine. I'm, I'm, I'm doing okay. How are you? I'm well, very well. Thank you. Okay. Um, um, I, I, you know, I just wanted to let you know that 
that I, I've, I've agreed. I mean, I've decided to to date you. Wow, great news. I'm glad. <laughs> Are you sure about this? <laughs> yes, um, yes. Oh. Yes, you, <laughs> you can send me the car. You want the car? Yes, I'll take it. It's yours, baby. I'll have it delivered to you. <laughs> okay. It is yours. No, I'm, I'm, yeah, I, I, I will take it. I'll take the car. All right. All right. I will talk to you again, too. I will be expecting. Okay. Okay. Bye. Always. Mm -hmm. Of course. <laughs> it's why I always come along, do you know? Wow. Mm. That's it, baby. But I know you have other girls around. That's the girls doing. You know I'm jealous. Oh. Let me make a call in a minute, okay? Okay. All right. Good day, Don Romeo. What on the street style you're stuck in your kitchen with Kareka Papaya? Come next full moon. What exactly do you want? And just dogs. About 20 cows and papaya. Distributor sheep as promised. I'll pay for the full consignment and 10% interest after distribution. 20%. 20%? 15%? 18 is fine. 18. Um, Don Tom, come with your personal bodyguards. As for the security, I'll take care of that. As for the location, once we are set, I will let you know. Frank, yes, is everything set for the transaction? Yeah, our stage at the catering shop to keep the place lively and our activities concealed. Oh, that's great. So, have you placed an eye on her? Yes, boss. Good. Babe, your car is dope. Did you see how those guys were looking at us? <laughs> oh, I knew they would be like, Yo, did you see those badass chick girls? <laughs> they are closing with their badass. And the other one will say, They are more too sophisticated. <laughs> I know, right? But, girl, listen, we are still sophisticated. Either we own a car or not. Don't forget that. You can say that again. We are not just sophisticated. <laughs> we are haughty, haughty. Hard. <laughs> I guess I have to rush back to my office real quick. Okay. Thank you so much for checking up on your favorite. You can girl. say that. Get <laughs> wow. Oh, super hot. <clears throat> Sorry. I wanted to say you need to meet my Jewish. Thank you. So, is Greg in his office? I guess so. Oh, you didn't check up on him before coming here? Oh, okay, okay. Okay, Mrs. Nosy. <laughs> like you're trying to feel the nosy. Whatever. Girl, please, <laughs> bye. <laughs> bye! Yes. You did it have fun, yeah? <laughs> Take care. Wow. <laughs> so. Okay. <clears throat> so, welcome. To my office. Oh, good. Thank you. So, when are you going back to Lagos? Oh, um, in two weeks' time. Two weeks? Yes. So, uh, why do you ask? Oh, nothing. <sighs> nothing so heavy. 
Okay, you see, the question shouldn't be when are you going back to Lagos? Rather, it should have been I am going to miss you, Mr. Josh, when you go back to Lagos. No. Oh, no, no, Josh, come on. Wait. Do you, do you actually think that I am falling head over heels in love with you, Mr. Josh? I, I didn't say that, and I don't think you're tripping, but We've got this affinity. Affinity? What sort of affinity? Uh, a super charged ionic affinity. The kind of affinity that exists between a goddess and a god. <laughs> you know what? You are so funny. <laughs> you are funny, trust me. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's crazy. Um, Alicia. Mm -hmm. Can I ask you for a favor? Of course. What is it? You see, like I said earlier on, I have just two weeks to spend here in this city. So, uh, this favor might sound a little bit funny or stupid. Well, however stupid it may sound, at least I should hear it first. You see, I want you to be my companion for the next two weeks. Yes. By the time I get back to Lagos, I want my visit to the city to be a memorable one. And I think that will be possible. Do you want me? I said, do you want me? Why right here? Yes, of course, right here now. Right now? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. How bad do you want it? So bad. Come on, baby, I'm all oh yes. <laughs> What? I was only joking. Oh, <laughs> well, that was good. Alright. Wow. Why don't you put uh, as a show call so that we can have lunch together? I can hear you. What did you say? I said, why can't you put Alicia on call so we can have lunch together? Oh, that would be nice. Mm. <laughs> you, Amanda, man, <laughs> just turn me on the sweat. Yeah, hearty hearty. Hey, <laughs> hey, Miss Sophisticated. Is Joshua still in the office? There with you? Yes, he is still here. Hey, I'm at Greg's office. Greg wants us to go out for lunch. You and George. Of course we will. Um, see, I think um, that this time around, we should take it outside Liberation Radio. I'm sure that would be cool, isn't mm -hmm. that so, Mr. Josh? Yeah, of course. So, yes. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> okay then, so we'll meet you outside. Yeah, bye. Mr. Josh, your friend likes my friend, Alicia. <laughs> mm -hmm. And your friend too, Alicia, likes my friend. Amazing, <laughs> he's a fine man. More than a fine bubble. <laughs> <laughs>
I'll do it. Yes, you know, your request about making your two weeks memorable. I'll do it. Thank you so much. So, <laughs> what's up? Let's go. So, get going. You, <laughs> bad girl. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so I'll just shut down and we go for Yeah. Man, this food is not bad. What do you think? That's because you don't know how to cook. Me, don't know how to cook. Joshua, tell her. Let her know, tell her. Well, um... <clears throat> For information, Greg here is a very nice cook, a very good cook. As a matter of fact, he was the best, best among us back in the days. You know, you just said back in the days. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, you know what? I'll cook for you, I'll bring it to you, eat my food and you should be more damaged. Really? Yeah. I'll... Okay. I want the testicle of a basin fried. And the rump of an ostrich. And, um. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, um, um, I think we need to hurry up. I'm sure we have less than 10 minutes. Yeah. Let's yeah. hurry up. Yeah, you're right, you're right. So, before we go, I want to invite you guys to my show. Wow. Yeah. That's nice. Really? Sure, yeah. I haven't seen you perform before. Mm. Yeah, it's a comedy show. It's, it's a comedy show. Wow. Uh, it starts 6 p.m. It's a midnight thing. Wow. Yeah. Well, um, tomorrow, right? Yeah. It's, uh, um, what, Monday? Friday? Yeah, this okay. weekend. By right the weekend, okay. Yeah, it's weekend. I would love to see you perform on stage. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's nice. Well, that's a bit late. I mean, considering the time, but I'm sure we can make our way there. We will seeing that we have a car, so getting there shouldn't be a problem, right? Yeah. yeah. Will you be there, Mr. Josh? Of course. I'll be there to support my homeboy. And myself. <laughs> I'll be there to support my darling, darling, baby. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. Guys, um, I think I guess it's high time. This is high time. Please, I have to finish my food. Hmm. Guys, um, yeah, I think we should go now. Huh? So, tell me. Can you drive? Of course. Let's go. Okay. All right then. How are you guys here talking about? Yeah, right there you. This gives you a feeling of power. Anita, stop doing this to yourself. Do you want to kill yourself? Yeah? Over what? A man? I mean, there are millions of men out there. I can still, you know, take you and love you. You're a beautiful girl. Just let me be. No. Leave me. Oh, Romeo dumped me. He dumped me. After his promises of making me his woman. I understand. I understand. To put yourself together. Okay? Just look at the nursery. Just look at the way he pampers me. Do you know? He always sends me money. He takes me out to the whole country anywhere I want to go. Just look at... I know. I don't think there is any man that will be like Don Romeo to me. There is no man. There are millions of men out there who are willing to love you. You just have to pull yourself together. Okay? Leave me. Leave me, I need Don Romeo. <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. I'm here. 
here for you. Okay? I don't understand. We have to forget him. Forget him. <laughs> Hello, babe. I'm outside your compound. Can you please come? Yes. Okay, I'm waiting. I'm finished. I don't understand. Don Romeo is after my life. Why? You know I wanted to elope with Kante. Yes. Before he got missing. I'm so sorry. Right now, Don Romeo wants to kill me. <laughs> it's not possible. No, no. Kante told me that he ditches his girls whenever he wants to leave them. Babe, I know what I'm talking about. You need to calm down, girlfriend. You're not even sure about this. I am sure. Okay. I am sure. Okay, Is it when you come out and you hear that I am dead? No, 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 no. It can't happen to you. Girlfriend, just calm down. Please, listen to me. Okay, I think I know what to do. I will call my baby. I think he will help you out here. Please, can we go today? No, 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 girlfriend. It has to be tomorrow. You know he's a busy man, so I need to inform him first. Tomorrow is so late, baby. It's not. Please, listen. First of all, you need to calm yourself down. I don't like seeing you like this. Okay. Can I crash in your house? You're welcome. You're welcome. Let's go, please. I don't like to see this face, please, girlfriend. Please, let's go. I think... Let's get your bag, please. Please be. Let's go. Let's go. Look up. Look up. Let's go. It's okay. It's okay. You'll be fine. I promise you, you'll be fine, okay? You'll be fine. Let's go. You'll be fine. Let's go. You'll be fine. Baby, I don't know how I landed myself into Listen, this. Listen, you'll be fine. I promise you. Are you sure you don't need anything? Nah. Let me uh, call the. Nah, don't don't worry. worry. I'm fine. Really? Besides, I'm not here for a drink. I'm here for business. Babe, I need you to tell me everything you know about Don Romeo. I mean, everything. And I assure you, my team and I will definitely bring him to book. So tell me what you know. I will tell you all that I know. Okay, go on. That bastard thinks he can mess up with me, Anita. He has messed with the wrong girl. You see, Don Romeo is evil. He's a drug baron. He kills without looking back. He is evil. A ritualist. He has so many trucks that carry drugs all over the states. He's a foster. 
that as I speak to you, a few days ago, he killed one of his boys. What? The boy that helped me. My God. When I was in a mess. He helped me and put me together. When Don Romeo went to shatter my life. Do you mind telling me his name? His name is Kante Ibrahim. I'm assuring you that your identity will remain confidential as we carry out this investigation. Okay? Thank you very What's up, yeah? Uh, how you doing? I'm okay, sir. Man, this is your visit. <laughs> what are you working on? Uh, man, just a new beat. Okay. I'm trying to, I just try to fill out, man, get the vibe. Hey, we see. Uh, nothing also now. So what's happening? What did they happen? I'm all right. I I'm just finished a new song. I did a new song, so I want to put it on air. Nice one, nice move. You understand? You just, you know, just, you just need to just. A lot of people they record songs. They go just record songs. Yeah. They no go want push them. You know, this is the people need to hear you. I like that. That's okay. I but know. you know, say it's not easy, shall. Yo, yo, you, you have the song? Yeah, I do. Okay, my yeah. feel them now. My, my, uh, the new vibe. <laughs> <laughs> no, keep trying. Oh, you want to run me? <laughs> I feel like you want to stay, but I can't, I can't, you don't want it. Let me try to lock my lady in. Not bad. Nice one, nice one, nice one. This one will fly away. <laughs> yeah. Ah, it should fly. Mm. Like I have a call. Oh, my boss. Uh. Uh. Hello, Greg. Hello, boss. I want you to come to my office now. Okay. All right. Lee, you give me. Are they calm? Yeah. All right. Okay. Just give me just... Let me just go through one or two. Ah, well, yeah. Be careful with that. No man. problem. No, no problem. All right. All right. Hello, boss. <laughs> Hello, Greg. Yeah. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm good, boss. Um, McDonald just called in that she's sick. I want you to find Alicia to cover her up for the TGIF mix, okay? All right. You know the sequence already. It's just for her to shut up. All right. Okay? I'll do that. Good. All right. Good. Thank you, boss. All right. Greg, what's up? I'm fine, how are you? I'm all right. Oh, let me see. I don't understand. Ah, let me see you now. <laughs> oh. Mm. Wow. <laughs> oh, um, you're looking like, you look like take away. You can say that again. Uh, okay, uh, did you uh, hear from Alicia? Oh, Alicia. 
She went out with your friend, Josh. Oh, those two guys, man. That love. <laughs> you know your friend really likes Alicia. Yeah, and Alicia too likes my friend. Your boss called that I, I should tell Alicia to cover for Madonna. Oh, really? That, I think she's sick or something. Oh. Well, I will do that my, on my own piece. Um, see, let me tell you, Amanda, you know, see, my heart beats for you. I really like you. You understand? My heart beats for you. Trust me. Hmm? Huh? You understand? I, this whole thing I'm carrying, I mean it. Eh? Let me take you out for a personal one on one trip, you know? Eh, around the whole, you know? Greg, it's not as if I don't fancy you. Okay. I can't date a colleague. You should know the rules. You and I can still have our own power, you understand? You know? Just I'm cool. Forget this uh, colleague thing. And it's okay. I'll just have to think about it. Okay. Think, mm -hmm. think, think. Mm. That's all you guys. So, so what's up now? What's Nothing. up? How was your day? How is your day going? It's fine. Mm. I got bored at the office, so I said, let me check on you. That's nice of you. Okay. So. That was a nice bit. Let me let uh, Actually, I'm walking. I just, okay. A new bit, though. Okay. Good day, sir. Good day, sir. Okay, You're welcome. Okay. Boss, boss. Yes, boss. I want to see you now. Cosmos. Yes, boss. It's time to step up the ladder. I have something for you. But that's not what we're going to discuss here. Check this. Good afternoon, sir. You sent for me. Yes. Good afternoon, Amanda. How are you doing? I'm fine, sir. I work. Fine, thank you. Amanda, you are the head of marketing department. Yes, sir. I've not been seeing any advert on my table. What's going on? What's your marketing strategies? Sir, currently I am working on some files and I'll be passing them to you as soon as I'm done. And I've sent some of my team to the field to get us some clients. Very good. All right, I want to see your marketing strategies in our next meeting. Okay, okay sir. Good. Thank you. All right, have a nice day. You too. Yeah. Lost Bays, the Sahara's. Tectonics. Let the sound resonate. This gives you a feeling. Hello, Miss Carter. Your money color wings glisten. The sunshine reminds me of the first time I met you. Around summertime, we call it hammer time. The best time we're in the twine to take it outside on a picnic with a cool chick. I'm never cold feet, and I'm a cool G. I mean, every single word I speak, especially when we're into it. I mean, intimate. I'm not into dating ladies on the internet with a fake profile. Neither my drug dealer. Or a serial killer, I'm just a regular fella. I'm used to doing them favors with my phenomenal flavor. Why keep you all here? Special kind of lady, preserve for a special kind of guy to 
Come sweep you up your feet The light be your night is shining armor You hold the pop and your daily llama Oh baby I can copy your palava And all your drama Pull it on me like MJ Roo And you a shanty, trust me I make it worthwhile Go to war, press the front lines I don't care how it turns out I don't care what my boys say That you a toxic tonic And your love spreads money But he ain't eating and gone in the morning Leave me ball and scarred Like a pre in the wilderness Good morning, boss. Is everything all right, Don? Please don't tell me it's because of that two for a penny hole. Sparrow. Yes, boss. Don't you ever call that girl a whore. All right? She is not a whore. That girl is innocent and clean. She is virtuous. That is the kind of a woman I need in my life. That is the kind of a woman I need to have my kids and raise them. All right? I am not there for playing games. I am there to make her mine, to make her my wife. So don't you dare call her a whore again. Boss, if you really want her, Remove the obstacle on the way and she will be yours. Have you gotten his address? Yes, boss. I have his address and all the information you may need. Good. Use your discretion. All right, boss. Alicia must be mine. I don't know. Hi, Don Romeo. My best friend really loves you. She's just being stubborn and scared. But I love you more. No, 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 no. You listen to me, young man. I don't know who you are, okay? You called me in the morning with this same private number. You called me a few hours ago with this same private number and here you are, calling my phone again, asking me of my location. Like, who are you? Who are you? Why will you be asking me of my location when you can't even tell me your name or at least who I am talking to? 
What? I can't believe this. Like, I think you're mad. You're crazy. You're crazy for asking me of my location when I don't... But get, get out of my phone, my friend. Get, get out of my phone. Don't ever call my line again. Criminals, scammers everywhere. <sighs> Greg has been on the phone all this while. <sighs> Hello, Greg. Hello, my man, Josh. What's up, man? I've been calling you. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I just I just noticed right now. I've been on the phone with, with one private number that has been calling me since morning. Eh, how can somebody be calling, calling my number since morning with a private number? And each time I pick the call, the person kept asking me of my address or my location. Like, I don't understand. Did you ask him where he was calling from? Of course I did. I asked him of his name. He refused telling me of his name. I asked him, do I know you? Like, have we met before? He refused to tell me his name. And here he is. And there he was asking me of my location. Like... Who the hell is he? Man, take it easy, man. I know, I know, I know the vex, I know the vex. Like, man, man, you know security know that this country now. Security know that the country again now. Now we be our own security now. Now we be our own police. How somebody go just call me for phone? They ask me, where, 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 uh, where is my location? Eh? Asking for my address. Can you imagine? A man, oh man. <laughs> if now woman say that for fit reason the matter, but man, like I don't understand. Oh, my, never closed for work? No, no, I'm not closed. Uh-uh. Oh, my time don't go now. Yeah, my boss asked me to stay back. Oh, okay. Oh, my, that your boss, eh? That your boss can stress you. It's all right. I did house now. I did house. Eh, I, I just a chill out with uh, my soft drink here. Really? Mm, I even got a uh, shawarma. It's in the fridge. When you come, get yours. Yeah. It's all right. It's all right. So hopefully I'll be back tonight. All right now. All right, safe. See you soon. See you. Ah, bro. Cheers. This kind of nonsense with this. How, so, how can somebody be calling someone's phone? Tell me your name. No. Who are you? No. Have I met you before? No. You're asking me where is my location. Who are you? Call my phone again. The thunder that will fire you is doing press up. Stupid. Yeah, yeah. Hip hop. Yeah. All day, yo. Check it out. Let it be known I now give up and lean back Terrified I squeeze it, poof Point blank, head walk, little way to the top Get a glad out of go the extra miles to get bread Knowing I now give up and lean back Terrified I squeeze it, poof Point blank, head walk, little way to the top Get a glad out of go the extra miles to get bread Yeah, shit is tragic Yo, yo not forget to squill up with a prodigy strategy Symbiotic cinematic tip street Between the vocals and the pictures that obstruct your locals And the logos of a critical situation Insurrection, the only way out Where words get for solution Let's get it popping Support the weak, caught your flick Dead before the feet Born bridges, no going back in the shit They call my craft piece of shit Cause it's deeper than the deepest ditch Yo yeah, what you can't predict, natural disaster, pyroclastic blast, throw fellas off the app switch, scorn glasses, figure the answers, the factors, I'm like a vessel with heavy arsenal, rampage, tragic toes, I extrapolate, fancy was to decorate, bootstraps, yo, violate, and the yard will fade my space, I bake a soda. K.O. from a heavyweight hunch, razor blade, let's spread, levitate to a higher state, beyond the azure, friendly and natural, yo. Dress casual, acts laudable, techniques fixable, power moves unfordomable, rally a team of archaeologists, a bottle of at the lost paint from a dead sea scrolls, the chronicles of a rare breed, yeah. yeah. Let it be known I now give up and lean back, terrified I squeeze it, poof, point blank, head walk, little way to the top, get a glad out of go the extra miles to get bread, knowing I now give up and lean back, terrified I squeeze it, poof, point blank, head walk, little way to the top, get a glad out of go the extra miles to get bread, shit is tragic, catastrophic, just stream, just drop it, cream be the topic, dreams and schemes are making profit, see the way we chill is getting flooded, Fake from real, identify them, spot them Catch bodies as I drop this H-bomb Smoke and choke lungs, jets and float arms Yo, check the slogan Black gods like Shangun and Ogun Sunrise to full moon, scoop a spoonful My brother, this is Elias 
good music, therapeutic, can't erase it, got to face it, basic, dead tragic, trash every this plot. Damn! Really, it's time, gotta be tough like a child. School enough for them standard rules, I'm breaking them sleep and wise, read between the lines, so streets, streets is dead. Retro. Put back and retro, tell yourself a hero. Oh. I ain't trying to be born. Do you know how have dead me again? Oh my goodness. Yeah, but, 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 um, do you know you are very good at what you do? Yes, you're very good at what you do. As a matter of fact, I think you were born for this, yes. You were born to be a presenter. Yes, of course. <laughs> My prayer is the sky will be your starting point. Amen. So tell me, Painted Lady, where did you get that piece of poem that was so deep? Mm, I guess so, I guess so. Oh my gosh, I have to run back to the office in about 20 minutes. I'll be back. I'll be holding it for on the Throwback Friday. It's Throwback Friday, baby. Wow. Did, did you just call me, babe? Oh, don't let that get into your head. It was just a sleep of tongue. All right, all right. I knew you were just playing around. It's okay. Um, I wish you all the best and um, talk to you soon. It's all right. Good luck. Bye. Wow. She is just everything. She's just everything. Yo, uh, I think I'm hungry. To get something to eat. This is awesome. <laughs> so that's it. I know where to have this again. If possible. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get it done right now. <laughs> but it's right. You know we do this shit for a living. Like, a little life for a living. <laughs> You know, we run the things like this for a living. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Andre, I was thinking that we can... <sighs> Just wow. wanted what you have always dreamt of I can see it but you know what thank you thank you so very much thank you so much Amanda for taking him off my neck thank you I'm very grateful very grateful, Amanda. Good job. Alicia. Don't, don't, don't you, don't you dare call my name. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah, hello. Who is there? Alicia. Are you okay? I want you. I want you to take my body. I want you to take 
break my body. about the whole thing. So I think um, what just happened is what is supposed to happen and with the right person. Okay, so come on, chill. We just had fun, so let's not, you know, kill our job. I know Alicia right? too well. If she doesn't have interest towards you, why would she be mad at me like she was? Come on, this is just mere envy and jealousy. Pay no attention to that shit. Come on, we just had fun, right? Let's not kill our joy, okay? Let's have fun. <laughs> Come on, follow that shit. Let's have fun. <laughs> Excuse me, my foot is ringing. Yes. Okay, okay. Right. Hello? What? No, no, Alicia, Alicia has been shot. By who? No, no, no. Or which of the Alicia's, like Alicia, our own Alicia? Alicia has been shot. Damn it. Who called you? My colleague. Who is this? He's a mother suspect. Shut up, shut up. I didn't do anything. Shut up, my friend. Sit down, dear. Who is he? He's a mother suspect. My friend, shut up. Shut up. You know that OAP, Alicia, for Liberation FM. Yes, yes, yes. Where they do one show. Yes, I know her. What happened? We found her dead body. What? In this young man's house. Shut up, my friend. I'm a radio person now. Let me make a call. Give me my. Let me have my phone. I didn't kill her. Your colleague. You killed your colleague. I did not kill her. Oh God. See, please. Can I make a call, please? Officer, please. Right, on, right. On. Please come and take off this man for me. Young man, sit down. This is a police station. I won't tell you this again. Okay, can you, I want to call my lawyer. Young man, first of all, there will be time for that. There will be time for that. Sit down. Don't stand up. Sit down. And my phone. Let me have my phone. Officer, give him his phone. That thing calling his boss. This handcuff, sir. Please come. Let me, please. Oh, God, take him easy. Ah. Easy, this thing. Oh, God. What about this? No, one hand you need, Ogan. Make up. Fast 
How come Alicia is being founded in Greg's house? What's the connection between them? Actually, Alicia has been seeing Joshua, Greg's friend. I don't know if you've been seeing him. He's been visiting the office for the past two weeks. Police station. Which of the police station? One police station. One police station. Okay. All right, boss. All right. Officer, collect that phone from him. Don't make a man. Don't go. Don't go. My friend, sit down there. Sit down there. Tell me what you did Sir, I hope there is no problem. Greg is in the police custody. Oh. Ah, organ liberation. What brought you to my office this afternoon? I hope all is well. Inspector Philly, all is not well. All is not well at all. One of my staff is being detained. Your staff detained? Yes. Oh, now I remembered. I got a report some hours ago about a young radio personnel that was murdered in his house. Is he a staff? Yes. Mr. Greg Etting. Popularly called Greg E. Then how come? Inspector. Just yesterday. After work as usual, I went to my car where I parked. Immediately I'm about to enter the car, two armed men just approached me. Eh? They forced me to call Greg to come back to the office that night. And they also forced me to transfer some money to Greg, which I did. It's just this morning, when I got to the office, that I called one of my staff. That was when I was able to connect the dots. Because in my office, I don't allow my staff to date. You mean Greg was in his office at that time? And the lady was also in Greg's house? Are they dating or are they lovers? No, they are not. They are not dating. So what is the young lady doing in Greg's apartment? She was with Greg's friend, who visited from Lagos. And... According to my staff, both of them are lovers. Who? And where is this young man?
you murderer? Okay. I'm not a murderer. Right. Everything you know about the murder of Alicia. Okay. Young man, right, right. Jesus. What do you want me to Oga, write? Oga, what, Oga, what do you want me to write? Oga? Write this. I'll be right back. Make sure you finish this before I come back. Oga, see, Oga, what do you want me to write now? Oga, come, Oga, please. Alicia. Hello? Good afternoon, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sure, sir. Okay, sir. I'm on our go. There's another Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. How may we help you? Okay, um, Mr. Mike, the MD of Vibration Radio Station. I'm here for one of my staff, Mr. Etim Greg. Officer, go and bring him out. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Move this way. What's it? Okay, I said move. Oh God, they calm down now. Oh God, move. Take oh, my friend, stand here. I'll call him. Take your clothes. So they teach me my job. Wear your clothes first. Ah, is it all? Don Romeo is a murderer and a drug dealer. He dumped me and now he wants to kill me. Calm down. Do you have any proof of all these allegations? No, I don't have any proof. But Kante and I plan to elope. But no, he's dead. He's okay. Calm down, calm down. Calm down. Here is a pen and a paper. I want you to put, put down everything I've just said. Put it down so that we can uh, commence investigation immediately. Okay, sir. It's okay.
<laughs> Alicia, please forgive me. I caused your death. <laughs> Forgive me, Alicia. I shouldn't have allowed man to come in between us. <laughs> I wish you could hear me, Alicia. Spana, take a walk. It's like I've seen you with Don Romeo before. You're right. You see, I am no longer with Don Romeo. Don Tom, I need your help. My life is in danger. Seriously. Please, baby. You really need to help her. Please. Okay. Meet me up later. My domain, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Yo, what up? I'm on my way to your domain. You're coming to my domain? Yeah. Alright, I'll be there. Cosmos. Man, there's a big problem. 
are you talking about, man? I just messed up. You messed up? I'm finished. I shot the wrong person. That. Man, you're a thug. That's what you live for. You kill for a living. Move on, man. It's nothing. You don't understand. Understand what? I shot my boss's wife. My boss's girl. You shot your boss's girlfriend? No, you're, you're going down for this, man. You're in a deep shit. Please. You have to help me. This is why I'm here. I know this is your domain. Nobody <laughs> will look for me here. They can't find me here. Please, take me to your boss. You mean downtown? Yes, please. I think he might have a use for you. I'll see what I can do about it. Come on, move on, man. You're a thug. Get on with it. We'll take care of it. I shot my boss's girl. I heard it over the news this morning. Who's that? Alicia, the popular presenter. The one that works with Liberation FM. The one that presents the, the midnight program, Love Boots. Alicia. Her name sounds familiar. So what can I do for you? I need protection. Well, you know I can't protect you. I, I have the vital information for you. Remember the papaya deal? Don't ruin your strategy. What? He sold it to Mr. Smith. Oh my God. That's a snitch. That guy is already dead. I will... Trigger! Trigger! Yes, boss. You know what you do? Take care of him, give him an apartment. From henceforth, he works with me. Okay? Thank you, boss. Thank you, boss. Next me, or next with me? My God, don't know 
Romeo is dead. He's a dead soul. What? I will deal with him. Wow, baby, you're so sweet, you know. Thank you for the good sex. You can have more of this if you do me this one favor. Don't talk and do anything for you, you know. I wanted to kill Don Romeo for me. Don Romeo is already dead. Thank you for that. You're He's welcome. A I will deal with him. He's a fool, you know? You're welcome, baby. Hmm. These days are crazy. Since we we cut off and swatted that deal supposed for Don Tom and sold to Mr. Mr. Smith, man, boss has been he has been unstable. He has been off the grid. I don't know what's going on. Boss. Yeah. Ah. Oh, my boss. boss. What's up, man? I'm okay, boss. Yeah. Today I hope no stories, oh. Ah, yeah. I hope you came with my full pay. I don't need stories. Let me see, bro. Okay, bro. I have a phone call. Hello, boss. Yeah. I'm away from the crowd. You sure? What? You want me to terminate, Frank? Sure, boss. No questions, boss. Yeah. Okay. I'll do as you say. Sure. Damn. Hope everything is okay, boss. That's it, boss. How much? You know what? I want you to run an errand for me tonight. I want you here by 6.30. I'll pay you good. Um, but right now, hold on to this one. Wow. All this for me, boss. Thanks, boss. So what's the of the 6.30. No questions. All you know, you'll be paid good. All right, boss. Thanks, boss. Six thirty. Uh, I got you, boss. All right. How the hell do I go about this? Frank is smart and stronger. Have to find a way. What's actually going on? Since Don Romeo twatted the papaya deal, suppose with Don Tom, he has been offline. All his phones are switched off. Can't really understand what's going on. What's up, Lucas? Yeah, I'm good. I got word for you from the boss. Hit me. 
Yeah, he wants us to run an errand. What sort of errand? Pick up and delivery. Hmm. And why didn't he call me his right hand man? Dad, I don't know, brother. You know, the man has his own ways. Come on, man, let's not debate over this on the phone. Let's just hook up and plan a way forward. The heat is tonight, man. All right. I'll meet you at our rendezvous, 7 p.m. Bye. All right, man. Expecting you. This is real hard. What sort of pranks is the dumb playing this time around? I have to call my boy, Cosmos, for this movement. I need backup. I don't really trust Lucas. guys prepare yourselves we will take them on our way tonight the Romeo will die tonight who is that? Who is calling your phone? My former boss, Frank Disparu. Jackpot! Jackpot! Put it on speaker. Hello, Cosmos. Where have you been since after the mission? Sir, I've been around. Where are you right now? Right now? I'm in the toilet. My stomach is purging. But I, I was, I'll soon be heading out to the office. I want you to accompany me somewhere tonight. I'll give you a call tonight to tell you where to meet me. Okay, sir. I'll be on standby. Take good care of yourself. Bravo. Bravo. God sent. What is Don Romeo about? What is he about to do right now? What is he thinking? I have to be very careful before I share the same fate with Kanti. I have to be very careful. What's up, Cosmos? Pick up your phone, blood. What's wrong with you? Man, blood, pick up your phone. I'm at home. Okay. Thanks, boss. I appreciate. Okay. I'll see you there. But he knew I shot the wrong person. must be a step up. They want me dead. I have to take this to downtown.
Don Romeo has gone on the ground since we thwarted that supposed Don Tom Papaya's deal to Mr. Smith. Bro, he is weak. I told him to let that radio girl live with her fell boyfriend lover. And now she has made him weak and possessed him. Anyways, Lucas. He's hibernating at Moore House. He wants us to run some pickup and deliver at the fish farm. I suppose he wants you to ditch me, Lucas. Ditch you? No, man, get off that, man, no. I'm even worried myself. You are his right-hand man, Mr. Frank. Hmm, <laughs> pandemonium. Brother, I don't have beef with you. I don't have problems with you. So whatever it is you have in stock for me, please tell me right now. I can gently walk away and never return back. I promise that. Look as the fox. I smell something fishy and I don't trust you. But I know what I'm going to do. Zika, please, sweetheart, get me a nylon bag. Disarm yourself right now on the desk, on the table, right now. Be first about it. I said on the table. Zika, my angel. I'm going to call you when we're back. The mobility. The transport will soon be here. So relax. Who is that Cosmos? Frank the Sparrow. They want to take me to slaughter. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. We're gonna take him to slaughter first. Absolutely. Relax, blood. You know we run this town? Mm. Damn. I'm 20 minutes late. He asked me to meet him up by 7 p.m. We should ambush them now. Don't worry. Don Tom has the master plan. And you know we have superior hammeries. That's why they dread us. Fear not. You're going to see the room crumble. I promise you that. He just sent me a test. Frank? Yes. Meet me up at the Moor House. Hmm. Moor House. It's alright. I'll take you to the dawn. We'll see what we can do about it. What do you think they are planning? My slaughter. Hmm. First, he called to confirm my location. Then asked me to meet him up at the rendezvous like 30 minutes ago. He wants me to be his full-time back man. He wants me to accompany him on a pickup and delivery mission tonight. Frank, does he know where you're living? Where your house is? Yes, I think so. Have you called any of your family member to know if they came in search of you? Nah, they don't operate like that. They rather lure you to the slaughter and keep it clean. 
ten more is not a slaughterhouse. Or a hideout. Do you think Don Romeo is not there? Oh, you said he called you to, for a backup. On a pickup and delivery? Yes, he did. Did he assign you on that mother who he showed himself? No. Frank did. That man must be on his way to meet his maker. Who? Hello, sir. We we'll found the body. Bring it in right away. Okay, sir. Hello, uh, Girl Liberation. Inspector Please come to my office now. Hope no problems. Yes, the body that we we'll found matched the description you gave to us. Concerning those that attack you at night, Alicia was murdered. Now? Yes, please. Come now, please. I'll be on my way. Copra! Copra! Sorry, sir. Sorry for yourself. Excuse me. Ah, my girl liberation. Uh, Welcome. Inspector. Thank you. Take a look. This is one of the men that attacked me that night. Thank you. We'll take it from here. Uh, have a nice day. Thank you very much. Thank you. His name is Frank. He's one of Doremio's men. I see. Where could Don Romeo be right now? Do you have any clue? He could either be in his mansion at Gulf Estate or number 10 more house. That is where he should be, especially now. Inspector, Don Romeo is a wicked man. He's devilish. He's a drug baron. Please do everything you could within your power to stop him. Don't worry, madam. We will do the needful. You may leave now. Since the liberation boss identified the dead man as one of the persons that pointed gun on him the day Alicia was murdered, which means he murdered him. And the pretty lady identified one of Don Romeo's boys. 
which means Don Romeo's hand is in the murder of Alicia. Come to my office right now. Come to my office right now. Yes, sir. Shansa. Easy. Where are your colleagues? They went on patrol, sir. I see. Inform me, Mecca. First thing tomorrow, we are hitting number 10 more house. Am I understood? Yes, sir. Then go. Hello, Don Tom. Hello, Piri. How are you? I am good. Now is the best time to strike. Don Romeo's defenses are weak, and Frank is dead. What? Yes. Where could Don Romeo be? Do you have a clue? At number 10 more house. Thank you very much, my angel. Okay. Trigger! My dog. Go and gather your men. We are hitting tonight. Yes, boss. Boss. Hello, boss. Uh, thank you very much. It was successful. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Ten more house? Okay, the briefcase is behind the fridge in the kitchen. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll go there right away. Yeah. I'll meet you there, sir. Yeah, I will. Thank you. See you there, boss. Yeah. Boss. Yeah, my man, my man. Boss, boss. What's up? I'm okay, boss. Man, you did great last night, man. Thanks, boss. That's what I like. Yeah, we drink to it. You understand? And um, Zika, baby. Come on, Zika, come here. Sir? Yeah, you get us a drink. Um, but first of all, get that consignment. I, I um, That stuff we dropped with you last night. Okay, sir. All yeah. right. Yeah. You're the man, you know what I mean? You're a good man, man. Yeah, yeah, hip hop, yeah, all day, yo, check it out. Let it be known, I now give up, lean back, terrified, I squeeze it, poof. Point blank, head walk, little way to the top, get a glad out of go the extra miles to get bread. No one I now give up, lean back, terrified, I squeeze it, poof. Point blank, head walk, little way to the top, get a glad out of go the extra miles to get bread. Yeah, shit is tragic, yo, yo. I forget the squilla with a prodigy strategy Symbiotic cinematic tip street Between the vocals and the picture stop straight locus And the love is off a critical situation Insurrection, the on the way out Where wars get for a solution Let's get a poppin' Support the weak, caught your flip Dead before the fit Born bridges, no going back in the shit They call my craft piece of shit Cause it's deeper than the deepest ditch Yo yeah, what you can't predict, natural disaster, pyroclastic blast, throw fellas off the app switch, scorn glasses, figure the answers, the factors, I'm like a vessel with heavy arsenal, rampage, tragic toes, I extrapolate, fancy was to decorate, bootstraps, yo, violate, and the yo, invade my space, I bake in soda, 
K.O. from a heavyweight hunch, raise a blade, let's spray, levitate to a higher state, beyond the azure, friendly and natural. Yo, dress Blue boss, come on, some men just busting here now. What? I did tell you, as I did tell you now, some men busting here. Let it be known I now get vibe back terrified I squeeze and poof Point black hat walk little way to the top Get it glad I'd go the extra miles to get bread Knowing I now get vibe back terrified I squeeze and poof Point black hat walk little way to the top Get it glad I'd go the extra miles to get bread Shit is tragic, catastrophic, just stream just dropping Green be the topic, dreams and schemes are making profit See the way we chill is getting flooded Fake from real identified them, spot them Catch bodies as I drop this hate bomb Smoke and choke long Hip hop Yeah, all day, yo, check it out. Let it be known I now give up, lean back, terrified, I squeeze and poof. Point blank, head walk, little way to the top. Get a glad, I'd go the extra miles to get bread. Knowing I now give up, lean back, terrified, I squeeze and poof. Point blank, head walk, little way to the top. Get a glad, I'd go the extra miles to get bread. Yeah, shit is tragic, yo, yo. Not forget the squilla with a prodigy strategy, symbiotic cinematic tip street. Between the vocals and the pictures that obstruct your locals, and the love is of a critical situation. Insurrection, the only way out. Where words get for a solution, let's get a popping. Spot the weak, caught your flick, dead before the feet. Born bridges, no going back in the shit. Look on my craft, piece of shit, cause it's deeper than the deepest ditch. And yo, yeah, what you can't predict, natural disaster, pyroclastic blast, throw fellas off the app suite, scorn glasses, figure the answers, the fact is, I'm like a vessel with heavy arsenal, rampage, tragic toes, I extrapolate, fancy was to decorate, bootstraps, you'll violate, and then you'll invade my space, I bake and soda. K.O. from a heavyweight hunch, raise a blade, let's spray, levitate to a higher state, beyond the azure, friendly and natural, yo. Dress casual, act slaughterable, techniques fixable, power moves unfathomable, rally a team of archaeologists, a bottle of my at the lost page from a dead sea scrolls, the chronicles of a rare breed, yeah. yeah. Let it be known I now give up, lean back, terrified, I squeeze and poof, point blank, head walk, little way to the top, get a glad, I'd go the extra miles to get bread, knowing I now give up, lean back, terrified, I squeeze and poof, point blank, head walk, little way to the top, get a glad, I'd go the extra miles to get bread, shit is tragic, catastrophic, just dream, just drop it, green be the topic, dreams and schemes are making profit, see the way we chill is getting flooded, Fake from real, identify them, spot them Catch bodies as I drop this hate bomb Smoke and choke lungs, jets and float arms Yo, check the slogan Black guys like Shangun and Argon Sunrise the full moon, scoop a spoonful My brother, this is Elias Good music, therapeutic, can't erase it Got to face it, basic, dendritic Trash areas plot Really, it's time, gotta be tough like a child. Scoot enough for them standard rules. I'm breaking them sleek and wise. Read between the lines, so streets is death row. Put back and retro, tell self a hero. I ain't trying to be one. I'm here to stash enough paper and move on. Acres I leave on, step in the phone like a beat boy. Smoke screens for decoy, let it be known. Fast as I deploy. Ready to die like big and small since this boy, yo. Let it be known I now give up, lean back, terrified, I squeeze it.